What's up everybody, Dustin Gary, and today I'm tremendously excited because today I get to unbox the Xbox Series X for you. And before we even get into the unboxing, I just wanna show you how cool the packaging is that they ship the console in. It's got a custom print inside the cardboard and I really, really like that they took that extra step and just made it extra nice, especially when you're spending this much on a new product. Okay, but you want to see the insides of this box, so let's open it up. There are four pieces of tape that I have pre-cut, so we can just open it with ease. And there is the inside of the box. Wow, yet again, they have just done a spectacular job with the packaging. It says, power your dreams, and that is the box right there. And then it looks like all your extra cables and such are in here. Let's get that out of the packaging. It's, it's also heavy. Both next generation consoles have quite an amount of heft to them. They have a code there. And then here are your peripherals. And man, I, they, just, they just really thought about the presentation when somebody brings this home and they're gonna be opening it up for the first time and just kudos, I, I really, really like that. It's really, really exciting to be opening your home console for the first time and that touch will be appreciated by a lot of consumers. So here is the box itself. Before we get to the really, really good stuff, let's open up this, this box and just see what is contained within. Okay, so pro tip, open the curved part first. Inside you will find your controller, your power cable, and your HDMI 2.1, as well as a few instruction items. I'm just gonna go ahead and sit, set that stuff aside. Let's take a look at that new controller that comes with your Xbox Series X. Now, this does look a little bit different than your traditional Xbox One controller. Uh, you can see you have your battery pack there in the back. Uh, the bottom design has the headphone jack and then the attachment port. And it uses a USB-C connector on top here. It has some custom gripping here on the triggers. Uh, overall, it's just it's a really, really sleek design that they, they haven't tweaked too much over the years. And you will be happy to know that yes, it does come with some batteries so you can just play right out of the box, so to speak. Now let's take a look at the console itself. I'm gonna open it from this side. Trying to, to retain the packaging because I just want it to look extra nice. And again, I've got it backwards. You're supposed to open it from the other side. Let's just do this really carefully. I don't wanna, I don't wanna ruin it. I wanna take care of my console as I open it. There is that patent in green on top. Let's just slide that right off and set that aside for later. And there's one more piece of tape here. And then there it is. There is the console. I'm gonna go ahead and show that towards you. You can actually see the fan through the top grating. That is really, really neat. Now, I love the subtleness of the green paint on the underside of it. You can see that big fan on top. On back, you have all your ports. You have your Ethernet. You have your USB ports. You have your power cable and HDMI out and the storage expansion. There is the little... I'm not sure what the top port is for. Potentially just for some airflow. On the front, you have your USB, your uh, syncing button, your eject button, and your power button up there. Wow, I, I really, really like this Series X. I can't wait to see it next to my television, but look at it next to the PlayStation 5. The PlayStation 5 is bigger than your Series X by quite a large margin. This is them next to each other. Now here is the Xbox Series X rapid fire next to a bunch of consoles. Wow. All right, what games are you guys gonna play first on your Xbox Series X? Let me know in the comments below. And for more on all things gaming, keep it right here at IGN.